to share about uh, my experience with heading on down to Jackson, Minnesota with Chant Singvas. I had to see him. Um, just a great guy, man. <clears throat> he, uh, I don't know, he came up to Minneapolis and he wanted to test ride a uh, Skag V-Ride. Um, which is weird. I didn't know he didn't have like a dealer down there in southern Minnesota. But essentially, he called me up and he said, "Hey man, I'm coming down or I'm coming up there." So we hooked up in Minneapolis and uh, we hooked up at that dealership. And uh, test drove it, and he loved it. I mean, he loved it. <laughs> well, anyway, the story goes. Uh, I offered to bring the mower to him if he purchased it and at that time he had not purchased it so it must have been that day where he got everything in order to purchase it and he hits me back up and he says I'll take you up on your offer and I thought road trip we're going to Jackson Minnesota hour trip from where I live what I did is I went to Minneapolis I picked up his mower at the dealership that you know he purchased it at in Minneapolis um, brought it back to my house and just hung in there until the next day um, so essentially I only had like five hours of sleep got up at 3 a.m. Um, us old guys need at least an hour to get going, right? So I, did, I got out the door about four o'clock. Um, but that's that that day before. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can kind of get a feel. The trailers actually up there on the hill that I used. You know, we got a few trailers here. Obviously, this is a 14 footer. Got a couple 20 footers over there. Got my 16 footer. But as you can see, look at all this ice. <clears throat> So the other trailer was sitting next to that black one. So I'm sledgehammering <laughs> this ice because the trailer was stuck in ice to the point where uh, it was not moving. It was not going to move. And then I had to go up this hill, as you can see my plow, one of my plow trucks up there. That hill, it's all ice. And I thought, man, I hope I make it back up or I'm going to have to go get the dump truck and... Uh, Pull myself up. Man is here. Brandon. What's up, brother? How you How's doing? your trip? Oh, good, man. It's pretty it's flowing. Good, good. Flowing. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no traffic. Honestly, I couldn't ask for a better ride. Yeah. yeah. Taste. 
tell you the truth, man, it was such an honor. No matter who it was, no matter who it was, you know, obviously you guys all know who Chant Singh Vasa is, or most of you do. But it was an honor to know that another landscape owner, landscape professional, a peer, trusted me enough to go get his mower and then bring it to him. As much as people may go, I'm crazy that I drove three hours or whatever to bring it to him, I think people are overlooking the fact that he trusted me, right? A guy, just a normal Joe, right? Just said, hey, ring a ding, I trust you with my purchase of whatever it cost him, $8,000 or whatever it costed. Um, actually, I think he got it for like 73 or 75 or something like that, but still that's you know i don't care who you are i don't care if you're a multi-millionaire and you said i trust you to go get that you know what i mean so there it is hey yo lesson here baby Now, it was great, you know, hanging out with them there that day. Um, but the one thing that, you know, he doesn't know is that Toro's better. He didn't know this. He didn't call me and ask me. And I thought, why in the world would you not call me? You know? But, no, I'm kidding. Hey, yo, lesson here, babe. Oh. Uh.